Hey, White Oak, my name is Nathan Hinkle and I serve as the lead pastor here. And over the past year and a half, our church family has been on a journey that we have called Shaken. Now we took this idea from Acts chapter four, where a group of Jesus followers were gathered and they're asking God to do powerful works in them and through them so that the good news about Jesus would, would spread throughout their city. And as they were praying, we're told that the room was shaken by the power of the Spirit and they moved boldly out into their spheres of influence with the good news about Jesus. And we're asking God to do the same thing here at White Oak in and through us. And I wanna give you an update on how things are going and some of the ways we see God moving. Our primary goal for Shaken is that 100% of us would be engaged in taking deeper steps of trust. And I'll tell you, our average attendance this year has been more than 1,300 people. And, and what that means is there are more guests experiencing White Oak for the first time and more people engaging in our services every week. And, and this is incredible because this is a force of individuals who are moving out of our, into our city, our, our, our places of work and school, and into our homes equipped with the message of Jesus. Since January of 2024, 41 of you have given your life over to Jesus, recognizing him as king and savior of your lives through baptism. That's 41 people. Our secondary goal with Shaken is trusting God to lead us to deeper steps of trust in our generosity and we're asking God for $6.2 million over the two years of Shaken. And White Oak, your generosity has been so strong. To date, you have given more than $4 million toward our goal. And this has allowed us to pay down our original loan to build the Ross Township facility from $4.5 million to now under $3 million. And because of this, we've saved $1.5 million of interest over the life of the loan. Thank you, White Oak. I, this is incredible. The season of generosity, watching God do what only he can do in and through us. I think of stories like John, who last year decided to go on a mission trip for the first time and is now leading the trip this year to go back to serve those in need. Or like Andrew and Sydney, who found a church home and are putting down roots for their family to have community. And then there's Justin and Allie who, in the midst of the shaken journey, accepted a new job that would move them to a new city, taking them away from their church family, but trusting God through the process and deciding to be faithful to seeing their commitment through to the end. And because of the many stories of generosity and faithfulness like these, We've trusted God to lead us in three bold moves. Bold Impact has allowed us to fund our local and global ministries. These are the backbone of the work and that we do in the lives of students and kids and adults. We're partnered with local organizations who meet the real needs of those who are in our communities, as well as funding global impact with partners around the world. In fact, last month, we gave a gift to a building project with partners in Kenya for a discipleship training center to equip pastors and Christian leaders for ministry. We're also moving with bold hope. We wanna use the facilities God has given to us to serve as a light to our communities. We have outfitted portions of our buildings so that like-minded community partners can have spaces and the resources they need to serve others. Not only that, but we are actively talking to groups like Coleraine Hope and Matthew 25 Ministries and City Gospel Mission about what potential partnerships with these groups might look like here in our Coleraine Township building. We want to move forward with bold stewardship, using every resource God has given us, our money, our spaces, our time, and our very lives to connect people to full life in Jesus. So we're gonna to continue to pay down the debt of the Ross building in 2025 and beyond, we will move forward with plans to multiply ministry impact in every space where White Oak is located and in new spaces as well. By being good stewards now, we're ready to move when God leads us to what's next. If you're newer to White Oak, or perhaps you've yet to join us on this journey, I invite you to do so. I believe we are loved by a Heavenly Father who is eager to shake us up with His power, to move in and through us in incredible ways. 
And you can check out how to be a part of Shaken at shakenchurch.com or stop by the Shaken Base Camp at either of our campuses. I wanna thank those of you who have been on this journey. We have seven more months of this Shaken season ahead of us. And we know that there have been and will be challenges and bumps along the way. And like with any journey, we also know that there have been and will be amazing views and God-sized adventures. White Oak, I wanna encourage you to finish strong. Let's keep asking God to shake this place with his power and to move us out connecting other people to full life in Jesus.